It's time to be creative in 3D and virtual reality, VR. It's time for Unity. In this video, we're going to install Unity on a Windows computer. Here I'm at unity.com. I'm gonna click on get started. You can see Unity is made for businesses that make all these great games that you might play on Xbox or PlayStation or these things, but we're gonna select individual. We're gonna select personal. First time users download Unity with this fun guided learning path to create your first game. Returning users already have experience using Unity and want to download using the standard Unity installer, go here instead. Some students have experienced issues following this guided learning path. There's been some issues with that. So we're going to use this returning users so we can simply download Unity Hub and then install Unity from Unity Hub. So do not select this, select this returning users. Get started with Unity. I'm gonna select download Unity Hub. I need to click on this little box here and click on download Unity Hub. I'm gonna save it to my downloads and save. I'm gonna go ahead and launch this. I'm gonna push yes. I want to install. I'm gonna put I agree. Install. This is installing Unity Hub. It is not actually installing the Unity program. Unity Hub is the location where we actually will install different versions of Unity. You'll see that in a second when this installation completes. You can see now I'm finished. I'm going to click on Run Unity Hub. You can see I'm going to allow access. Here is the Unity Hub. This allows you to add new projects. You can see on the left side, I can click on Learn and follow some of the micro games or some of the tutorials. Here is the Unity community that you can stay connected with. And here are installs. So right now I have 2019.3.0 installed. Let's say I wanted to update that. I actually could delete this if I wanted to by selecting remove here. I'm gonna leave it for now, but I wanna add the 2019.4.10 version. So in the top right over here, I'm gonna click add. You can see right here, I can select even the newer version, but for this course, we're gonna use this one, 2019.4.10. I'm gonna press next. Make sure I select Visual Studio Community Edition. That's what we're gonna be coding our VR games in. I'm gonna drop this down. I'm gonna select Android build, but I also want to make sure that I select this Android SDK and NDK, and NDK tools, and also Open JDK. You can add any of the other supports if you're interested in learning how to build a game and support multiple programs like iOS. I'm gonna turn off iOS. I don't need tvOS. I don't need Mac and I don't need Windows. We are simply, or Lumens, which is magically. I am currently just building for VR. One thing you may want to add is WebGL build support. And that allows you to build the game and actually upload it to Unity private websites that you can actually share with your friends. So again, just going through this, I have Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2019. I have Android build support. We're doing this because Oculus is built on Android. And for us to do our VR games, we're going to need these things checked. Again, you can't just check this. You have to drop the box down and make sure you add these two. Then I'm going to actually add WebGL support. I'm going to press next. I'm going to agree to the terms and conditions. And then I'm going to press next one more time. Agree again. I'm going to press done. Do you want to allow Unity to make changes to your device? Yes, I do. Since I'm installing the newer version of Unity here, I'm going to uninstall this version of Unity. You can see the Unity version has finished downloading and now it's currently installing. Once it finishes installing using Unity Hub, we're able to launch this version of Unity. So now you can see it is finished downloading and it's added the Android build support and the WebGL build support. If I wanted to add other build supports, for example, building games for Mac or Windows, I can go to add modules. And you can see I can select iOS, tvOS, Mac build support, universal build support. I'm gonna click cancel for now. The other thing you need to do is make sure that you activate your Unity license. 
So I'm going to click on, right now you can see I am not signed in. I'm going to click on settings. I'm going to click on license management. You're going to see you need to be logged in to manage your license. So I'm going to click on log in. This screen will load, but I want you to pay attention. If you scroll down, I suggest you sign in with your Google account versus having to create a unique Unity ID. Just simply sign in with your Google account. I actually will sign in here. And I already have a license, but I'm going to just go through the process of activating a new license. So you're going to select Activate New License. You're going to select Unity Personal. You're going to select I do not use Unity in a personal professional capacity. And you're going to select Done. You can see your license has successfully activated, and now I'm ready to do Dismiss. You can also see I'm logged in here. So let's go ahead to back and let's explore the Unity Hub. So installs is where you can actually install Unity. I did install this version, but I can install multiple versions of Unity. I can get the latest version currently, which is 2020.1.6. For now, I'm not going to do that. You can see I can go through the community. This is where you can actually connect with other Unity developers. There's Unity blog, there's forums, there's live help, there's group. You can see I can go to the learn tutorials. And here are the Unity micro games that can help you get started with Unity. We will cover these in this class this year. You can see I can go below and there are other starter kits for you to kind of go through. These are all the projects inside of the learn. You can also click on tutorials and here are some other tutorials that can help you. And you can see here are some of the other tutorials that you can kind of go through. You can browse for more on learn.unity.com. Then here's your projects. Currently I have no projects, but I can simply select new and create a project. Now, if you have multiple versions of Unity, you're going to see this little arrow. They will all show up here so you can select the version of Unity that you want to install in. So I'm going to select this. So you can see this is creating a new project. In VR coding, we're always going to select 3D projects. You can also access micro games here. If I scroll down, you can see I have the 2D platformer micro game, the karting micro game, the first person shooter micro game, the FPS micro game, and the Lego Mindstorms. You can see for these, I need to download them. So I'm simply going to click on download and install for the ones that you want to do. I'm simply installing all of them. That way in the future, if I ever want to launch one of these, it will simply be there. I would select it, name my project, and then press create.